This is the Heart Adventure Obstacle Course. We've got set up in the gym this week. Kids learning a little bit about their body, specifically the circulatory system and the respiratory system and how the lungs and heart work together to carry oxygen around the body and get rid of carbon dioxide. So the kids start up here in the lungs. They usually have the boys or the girls, one or the other, start with blue with carbon dioxide, a ball and a scooter. And the other half of the class starts with the oxygen, just a red ball. And then they'll travel through an obstacle course designed uh, for both, half, both halves of the heart. Over here at the oxygen, if they take the oxygen, they follow these red tape lines that I've got arrows taped up to the floor. And they'll head into the left side of the heart. Um, this is the side that carries and deals with oxygen. So they are blood carrying oxygen. They'll head across the balance beam, follow these arrows down here underneath this archway, which is the mitral valve and they'll enter the lower part of the heart, which is the left ventricle, down here. We'll continue to follow these arrows, and once they get to the end, they're going to find this little archway here, the aortic valve. Here they're leaving the heart, and they're going to travel around the body or up to the brain. So they will duck underneath this archway here, and then they will head into the aorta. Okay. Here's the aorta, represented by this tunnel. The kids get down here and they crawl through the tunnel. And once they come out at the mat on the other side, they've got some choices. They can take their um, oxygen to the brain, which is represented by this um, tunnel right here. Or they can take their oxygen to all the other parts of the body. Either way they go, they'll eventually end up back in the lungs so that they can exchange their oxygen for carbon dioxide. Uh, if they go to the brain, they just basically follow these arrows that I've got taped on the floor. They lead over to those hula hoops, and the hula hoops are connected with some zip ties all the way around the gym. So you can see, I'm going a little fast, but it looks pretty good. And they'll end back up there. They could also choose to take it to all other body parts and just take a little shortcut, come out right here, hit the hoops, and then head around. Once they get back to the lungs, let's swing it around here. Once they get back to the lungs, they will get rid of their oxygen because they've used it all up, bringing it to the brain or taking it around the body. And they will exchange it for carbon dioxide, a blue ball and a scooter that's on this mat over here. So they'll take a scooter and a ball and they will head into this part of the heart, the right atrium, which is all the way down here. Basically a long scooter run that I've got heading straight down the gym here so they'll hold the ball as they go down uh, this lane with their scooter. They'll head under the rope which is the, represented here with the tricuspid valve. Once they duck under the rope they're going to go to the bottom of the heart, the right ventricle. All right, they're on the right side. They're trying to get rid of this carbon dioxide so they are going to leave the heart now and be pumped back up to the lungs, leave through the pulmonary valve Got a sign here that says leaving the heart, traveling to the lungs. So now they are in an artery heading away from the heart. They're in the pulmonary artery, and they will travel on their scooter all the way back to the lungs where they started, and they will exchange their carbon dioxide ball and their scooter. They will trade it in for oxygen and start the pattern over. So it really keeps the kids moving, keeps them engaged the entire time. Uh, they get several uh, laps in around the gym, and they get a lot of t uh, chances and a lot of opportunities to carry the red ball uh, representing oxygen and the blue ball representing carbon dioxide through both halves of the heart. So they learn a little bit about the body and they actually get to travel through a little model uh, that I've made of the human heart. And I think that's a pretty neat lesson. Uh, one that kind of ties in with uh, some science and some health concepts as well. So that is the Heart Adventure Obstacle Course. Hopefully you can get some ideas from kind of the way that I set it up. Uh, and if you've got any questions, you can always be reached at pe for every kid on Twitter. And that's the Heart Adventure.